Today on What Went Wrong, we're standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. Oh look, a girl. My lord. In a flatbed farm. It's going down to take a look at me. No, me. Mm. Hi, I'm Brett Mauser, and I've maybe done over 40 road trips. Gotta be at least 40 road trips. <laughs> <laughs> well, road trips are a very important part of my life. I yeah. enjoy them. They're yeah. adventurous. And today we are taking the audience out across the Southwest. Oh, God. And we're going to be talking a little bit about our, our, our recent vacation, my birthday week. I always go to Vegas. Mm -hmm. And this time we drove because yes. we didn't want to deal with the, the, the airlines and the mm -hmm. mask mandates and the blah, 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 blah. Um, you and your rules exactly <laughs> so we decided and, and back in 93 we took a trip when i was moving to Ve when i was moving to los angeles yeah we took a trip uh, out southwest saw some different things uh and we uh, did that same thing this time around yeah and what we're going to be talking a little you know we stopped along the way to talk about how you know different locations or music or different things influence film and we just did little mini lessons i guess you right, could right. Say. <clears throat> uh so uh this is going to be our home base and we're just going to take us through a little bit about uh where we went what we did why and all that great stuff outstanding uh now we did uh, we did start <clears throat> off i think on a thursday night around six o'clock mm -hmm. and just headed out and our first stop was comfort pizza we sat down we each ordered a pizza because it only comes one size which was pretty cool and holy crap, it was so good. And they had the, they had uh, homemade root beer. Mm. And we just sat that we just sat outside in the setting sun. And it was, it was nice, cool. It was nice, mm -hmm. cool weather. In the setting sun. And our first meal was Comfort, Texas, like an hour or two from San Antonio. And was absolutely fabulous. And I was like, by God, if this is how this trip is going to go, <laughs> we'll do this. Let's do this more often. Yeah, we were just leaving. We, we had originally said we are going to leave Saturday and then maybe Friday. And at one point we just said, you know what, it, let's just go. And that, Which, <clears throat> you in the past have had um, a pension for planning. <laughs> well, this was, yeah, you're talking about the back in the days when I was in, uh, when I got the, the, the AAA road, uh, road trips. And the triptych. Had the, oh, the triptychs, okay. yeah, and had the highlighted, this is yeah. the way you're going to go. We're going to stop here. We're going to stop, have, you know, it's been an hour and a half here. I could probably got that from my father. Anyone when familiar with the military knows they have operation op order, you know, here's what we're doing. Here's where we're going to be here at this time, be here this time. And you would have these op boards and we'd get these, <laughs> we get these, I get it. I remember we're taking a trip. We got, we got a stack of paperwork and I'm like. What in the hell? Well, when I went to Vegas with Sergio and a couple and a couple other people, like 2015, yeah, I had the whole itinerary emailed them, and I can't, you know, so this is what this is what we're doing this day, this is what we're doing that day, and it, it, at least three times every day, you'd hear me say, "Did nobody read the emails?" <laughs> Because I had it all laid out. Well, what's, what, really, we're, we're having a buffet. Did you not read the emails? <laughs> You've had this thing for planning stuff, and so we—I've done several. We've we you and I have gone on several trips together, even if they're like not not big huge trips. How much longer? But the biggest, the first biggest one was uh, taking you to Los Angeles when you were to going to school out there, mm -hmm. and once again got this big old operations order and <laughs> this whole thing. And here's the plan, and here's the map, and here's what we're doing every single day, what we're doing, and where we're going, all the places we're going to eat, mm -hmm. you know. That was the only time in 30-some years that you and I have known each other that we've ever raised our voices at each other. Yeah. It was that navigation were... thing with the, when we were, looked like we were going to be late to Garth Brooks. Right. And uh, we didn't know at the time that Arizona didn't do daylight savings time, so that screwed off the whole yeah. schedule. Yeah. Well, it's what's raising our voice because you weren't very happy about going to Los Angeles. And it was, Garth Brooks was just a symptom of the problem. It was, <laughs> you were not happy about going to going to, to Los Angeles and you did not really want to be doing this. But it was the next step mm -hmm. that you were supposed to take, but you were not pleased about it. And I remember at one point I actually yelled at you. I said, this is not my <laughs> fault, you know. <laughs> I did not make this happen. Quit screaming at me, you know. <laughs> and we just rode in silence for like an hour. And that was as long as we could stand. They were like, sorry. 
And then, and then we uh, crocodile woman at the Garth Brooks concert. So we spend way too much time out in the out in the sun. Moisturizer is your friend, people. Moisturize, moisturize. <laughs> so yeah, see, we're elaborating on a lot of the. We can elaborate on these stories. People who know us know right. that there are these large stories behind them. And our road trips are live in infamy. I mean, they yeah. you know that's not like people die on the road trips or anything <laughs> that we're aware of, right? But they on purpose. Know, <laughs> But, you know, they are great times, and we talk about them. Right. And, well, and see, for this trip, it was weird was we were talking about it. We talked about it last year, because mm-hmm. last year we couldn't go because everything was mm-hmm. stupid. Um, but then we talked about this one, and you had mentioned that we were talking... Well, we were talking about taking the rabbit and doing seal rabbits. Yeah, because we're going to bring a few different people. We're going to try to bring some a few people there. And so I said, well, I'll drive. And so we got in my truck, and we started driving. And the biggest the biggest difference was is that you were like... We're not going to plan anything. And I was like, okay, when you say we're not going to plan anything, do we mean we're not planning as much? Is that what we're saying? And you're like, well, we have reservations to be in Las Vegas on Monday night because we both had reservations at the Luxor. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but you're like, yeah, we're just we're just going to kind of go. And I was like, so I kind of want to hit this. I want to hit that. But if we don't, but if we don't, it's all right. And I'm like. This is a whole new you when it comes to traveling. <laughs> Are you dying? You know? Are you okay? And Brett was like, well, we've always done these plans, but you know what? I just don't feel like doing it. I'm like, this is the best trip ever! You know? <laughs> well, then and, and we just got on the road and just made it all the way. We didn't make it to Roswell that first night. No, we made it somewhere else. But we made it to, did we make it to New Mexico? I think so. Or did we stay in? We might have stayed somewhere in Texas. <laughs> It was close to New Mexico because yeah. it did. It didn't take. It didn't take as long to. It took us home. a hop, skip, and a howdy to get to. Yeah. To get to New Mexico. Uh, so the next morning we went to the. We we were in Roswell, so mm-hmm. we went to the Roswell Museum and got my favorite picture oh, of the entire trip. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. We laughed so hard. We're still laughing about it. You're <laughs> laughing right now about it. You're thinking about it. We just looked at it about five minutes ago. We're still laughing about it. The, the stories that we came up with. The uncomfortable the alien. And his voice. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> the look on this thing's face with the two of us. I'm sure you're going to show it. Oh, yeah. It's on screen right now. I guarantee it. <laughs> so that was that was our first alien picture of the trip. And it was... The, the museum was one of those kind of, you never know what you're gonna what yeah. you're gonna get for some of these little roadside tourist traps we were in downtown Ro- well downtown Roswell about to uh, check out the uh, UFO museum it's downtownish it's this is yeah. what they would call downtown yes and we are we are definitely in downtown uh, Roswell because everything has an alien on I'm it so somewhere. excited about it. to me the best the best part was just the city. Because you had aliens everywhere. The everywhere. street poles, the, you know, outside Waterbergs. Then it was these corporate offices. Yeah. You know, these corporate stations. Big and buildings. Banks and, and everything else. And there are aliens just like, everywhere. They're like, we're, we're in Roswell. Aliens on the door. Aliens are the thing. Aliens over here. Aliens on the, on, the light, on the light poles, on the light fixtures. Aliens on the cop cars. Aliens everywhere. Yeah. It's just aliens, aliens, aliens. And everyone got into it. It was like, it was like whenever everyone in your town gets into Halloween. But all the time. <laughs> and I was just like, this is the most awesome town ever. <laughs> you know? Um, I th- That was one of my favorite places to visit. I'd never been to Roswell before. And there's not really a time I would be going to Roswell. Which is why this trip was so cool for me. Because mm-hmm. there's all this stuff that I really wouldn't do. There's not really a time I would go... To, when am I going to go to Roswell, New Mexico? I mean, New Mexico Military Institute is there. And maybe I'd go there for something for them. But, I mean, well, not really. Yeah. You know, but because I'm hanging out with Brett Mauser... <laughs> We're going to Roswell, New Mexico, and I'm like, yes, yes, we are. We absolutely are going to Roswell. That's not a place we could possibly miss. <laughs> well, once we, well, once we got to Roswell, I think that that put us on 66. Yeah, I think that put us on Route 66, and I mean, we traveled 40, I think. Yeah, but it's still practically 66. We bounced on and off of yeah. that for the next couple. And of that's days. where we had we stopped at the barbecue place that night. Mm-hmm. Uh, still not my favorite dinner. It was definitely not my favorite dinner of the trip. Uh, so then we made it to Gallup that night. Yes. We made it to Gallup that night. And then our mission was to get to Winslow, Arizona. Uh, for those people who are not familiar with Winslow, Arizona. Not a f- seriously? Are you even humans? <laughs> Standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona. Such a fine sight to see. And that was it. So they have, they have an actual corner. With the sign, with a couple of the eagles, and then a whole mural. Mm-hmm. 
And to our surprise, you know, we, we figured we were just going to drive up, jump out, take a couple pictures, and zoom. Do some off. stuff. Yeah. Say some things. I think we are going to do a little sit down for this there. Yeah. But when we get there, streets are blocked off. We're like, oh, what the hell is Crap. this? You know, it was a Saturday. Yeah. I was like, oh, because so, we had seen some sign about, you know, the party or the block party or something. something. I'm like, oh, man, I don't. Seriously. I just wanted to take a picture of the sign. Right. And we get there, and it's a freaking car show. You know, these beautiful old cars. 60s classics, and 70s and 50s. All sprung out. <sighs> it was like a couple of car clubs were just kind of like sitting around. Like a couple of the guys who are the heads of a couple of car clubs were sitting around drinking beer one night. It's like, hey, Bill, you want to go to Winslow, Arizona next Saturday just for the hell of it? And Hey, let me call Steve, Bill, Rock. You know, all these they were just making phone calls. And they just kind of showed up because there was, wasn't really anything going on. I mean, the cops had blocked off some stuff. But it, honestly, it looked like a bunch of people just walk around looking at cars. And you could tell everybody was a car person because all these little conversations that were going on between people about the cars, mm-hmm. you know, and they'd have little signs, but there was no vendors. There was no real anything spectacular. It was just a bunch of guys with cars. And we were also concerned, oh God, it's going to be crowded. We're not going to be able to... And it was crowded, but we could walk, we walked right over to the Winslow, Arizona mm-hmm. sign and took our pictures and said our stuff and no one got in the way. There were people taking pictures and mm-hmm. we had kind of gone there and we waited for a couple of people, but there wasn't anyone waiting on us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like we were rushed. We weren't trying to hurry. We just goofed off. Yeah. And so we didn't get to sit down and talk because it was a little too loud for that, but we didn't miss out yeah. doing anything we wanted to do. Yeah. That we left Winslow and then we went to Meteor Crater. Yes, we went to Meteor Crater that afternoon. Oh, there are big holes in the ground, and then there are big holes in the ground. But this was a hole in the ground caused by a meteor many, 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 many eons ago, and it's fascinating to see the largest and best preserved crater in the world, mm-hmm. and it's there in in Arizona. One of the best researched, one of the best uh, known, uh, one of the best uh, photographed and studied. And there's a lot, of, there's a big museum around, not around it, but, <laughs> but I mean right there at the thing. Astronauts train there. Astronauts uh, a lot of movies, train there. You, you may, you know, like there's a Starman, you know, the big, you know, the big, uh, the big at the end when the ship comes. That's, yeah. the, that, you know, that's, that's Meteor Crater. There. Yeah. Um, a lot of, they've done a lot of stuff down there. Um, it is a very nice visitor center. Um, and that's where we got our second alien picture, which I think is your maybe your favorite. I think you like I that. Think I thought, that was my favorite one. Yeah. Those, although, although uncomfortable alien, mm-hmm. it's hard to it's hard to judge those two because <laughs> you have dour alien and uncomfortable alien. I like I love them both like my family. You know. <laughs> well, that brings us to I think one of our best dinners. Oh yes. Because we're on the we're on the way to Kingman. I don't remember if we made reservations. Or we knew we were making it to Kingman, or we were still trying to get the. I think out. I made the reservations. I think because we were we had stopped somewhere. Oh, because because we were yeah we were sitting there. And I, we were at the meteor crater. That's what it was, and I couldn't mm-hmm. find any reservations anywhere. Okay. And so I says I went ahead and made some in Kingman, and we could always we could always change them if we needed to. Okay. So, we so knew, yeah, there we, we, we are. had to get there. Yeah. We're on the road, and we're like, okay, let's get something to eat. And I start something. And I said, like, oh well, if we don't have we don't, if we don't stop up in this next area. Yeah. There's nothing There's for another nothing. hour and a half, two hours. So I start looking for stuff. And the sun was going down, so we were like, we probably should eat. Yeah. So I start looking for stuff, and you hear me. Oh, here's something. I, well, I hear you go, huh. Because <laughs> usually what happens is we'll be driving, you know. And we have, well, I usually have music playing. When, there's two ways I drive with music blaring, you know, like my heavy metal music to run pedestrians over by music, you know. <clears throat> or whatever it is, but turn down so we can talk. We can have conversations. And I had it down because we were we had been talking, and so I just had it. The music was like, nee, 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 and I hear this. <laughs> and I hear, then I hear, <laughs> like that, and I'm like, <laughs> and you have your phone, and you're like, <laughs> you're doing that. You hear that, everybody? That's what I heard. <laughs> that noise and I'm driving like I remember my, I mean every vehicle I own is loud there's the Chevy's the Chevy my, this truck if it's got you know but over the I hear <laughs> okay and I'm just like I look over and Brett is doubled over <laughs> with his phone and I'm not sure what's going on I'm like Brett 
are you are you <laughs> and he and, and then he goes like he's like <laughs> like so like this and then he's like <sighs> and then he does it again he's like <sighs> like this and I'm like what are you looking at <laughs> and he's like the chicken that almost crossed the road or whatever it is I can't remember exactly what it is Roadkill Cafe. <laughs> Roadkill Cafe. He's like, it's Road... And he starts reading some of these names. Read some of the names. I had to buy the menu. I was so... Uh, Roadkill Platter, of course. The, spla the Splatter Platter. The Treads and Bread. Now, this this was the one... This was the page I think that got me. It was the... <laughs> As we can <laughs> see. The, the, the Bad Break Steaks. <laughs> the Chicken that Almost Crossed the Road. And then I do like on the other one. What was the? Uh, what the hell was it? The the uh, the what was the the dog? Where, where's the dog one? Oh, the dog oh, that got lost oh, in the fog, or the yeah, one-eyed dog, one -eyed dog lost, that in, the lost fog. in the fog. <laughs> Tried to pass me on the ride. <laughs> now, the, now here's a problem. I'm trying to drive, and he's Steer, reading. Dear dear, <laughs> he's reading these to me, and I start laughing. <laughs> Smear of deer. Smear of deer. I start laughing, and I'm like, oh, I don't even know what this oh, is. Oh, the rigor mortis tortoise. That's the one. <laughs> and I'm like, no, we're going to this place. I says, anything that's going to make you laugh that hard, we're going to it. I can't believe we haven't been here before. I, well, we haven't been here before. That's the only, that's the only reason we haven't but been this is the, Yeah, but this is the type of place that we would drive to Arizona just for. And, it, and <laughs> we were wondering why we couldn't get a goddamn hotel where we were. I think we just discovered why. Everyone's fate, here for the... Fate wanted us to come here and have road We had to have this, yes. And, of course, outside it was all, like, wooden and stuff. It had the, the crazy signs everywhere. We walk inside, and it was relatively nondescript. It was clean. I remember that. I remember that's one of the things we always look at. But it was very clean. Had just regular tables with nice tablecloths. The checkered tablecloths, whatever. But nothing special. You know, and then we, we kind of sat and we walk in and there's two please. And then come on, come on over here, honey. You know, and she, she sits us down and uh, the waitress comes over and I can best describe the waitress. Y'all remember uh, that TV show, Alice and Flo, kiss my grits, her. That's who we had serving us basically. <laughs> and she's like, what do you want? You know, and we're like, we don't know. It's like, I'm going to give you a second with the menu. And so she sets it all down for us. She's like, you let me know, honey. So what you want to drink? And I was like, a doctor, you know, wherever we, wherever yeah. we order, she's like, I'll be right back. And so off she goes and brings these ginormous glasses of, of soft drink. And I'm like, oh, that's not making it difficult for us to sleep tonight. We're going to get high as a kite on Dr. Pepper. And, um, and we, we were asking her, we just asked her about the menu. You know, I, I, we usually when we go places, I don't know. I just say, what do you like? Or what's good, you know? And I ordered this, I don't know what the heck it was. It was, the, it was, it was some special that she talked about. And it was two, I think there were like one third or maybe one half pound patties uh, between three slices of Texas toast. And held together with a steak knife. With a steak knife in the middle of it. And it had uh, jalapenos and mayonnaise and whatever the hell else you wanted. I think I got bacon on it or, or it had bacon on it. It was just a whole bunch of stuff. And usually when you get those kind of weird meals like that, they're, they're, they're a novelty. And so they're okay. And so you'll eat it just because it's kind of cool. And, or you take pictures of it. Okay. I neither took a picture of it, nor could I stop eating it. Uh, I was like, well, I'll just eat a little bit of it. Next thing I know, I'm over halfway done with this thing. I'm like, and I, I would eat it because there's three pieces of Texas toast. And I, don't, I mean like Texas toast and the patties were huge and this mm. thick. You know, and Swiss cheese and, 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 and cheddar cheese and the mayonnaise on the bottom and the jalapenos and the bacon and other stuff like that. Heart attack on a plate, you know. And it, I mean, it was easily this tall, you know. And there's no, I mean, I got a big mouth, but I can't, I can't hang. And so I was like taking a bite off the top and then a bite off the bottom and a bite off the top and a bite off the bottom. And it was really good. And I was like, well, I'll just eat a little bit of it. Next thing I know, it's over halfway done and I'm not even slowing down. And we had had, like, fried jalapenos before that, and it was so... It was one of the best hamburgers I've ever had, Roadkill Cafe. Just well done, Roadkill Cafe. So we headed up to Grand Canyon, and uh, we got there and uh, got up to the, tick the, the ticket booth. Well, first we had to take, you know, because you, you're parking a lot, 
and then you had to walk the thing. And you're going to get your tickets. And then we got to take a bus all the way. Because last time we just drove just right drove up. Just drove up and like right park next to the Grand yeah. Canyon. You know? yeah. Oh, this was the place with the sky bridge. All right. You know, where the thing where it's like this big glass thing. You look down and I was like, okay, this I'm going to solve my vertigo here. And that was my point. I was like, okay, this is going to scare the living f- out of me. If I can make it from one end to the other, all right, we're going to do this. And I was kind of like, you want me to what? Because I also have a fear of heights. Yeah. I'm like, you... <laughs> Let me get this straight. You want us to walk across the the the? No, no, I'm fine. We'll do. It. I can do that. I can, I can do that. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so we get up to the ticket booth, and we're warning. Okay, we gotta we gotta pay for the you know the ride down there, and then the thing, and they start giving us. Well, you're not allowed to do this. You can't take your camera. No pictures. We'll have a photographer there to take your picture. What the f- is the point of that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Don't go to Grand Canyon West. <laughs> Because they won't let you take a camera or a cell phone onto the onto the sky bridge, which is why we came out here. We came out here for the sky bridge. I was going to try and walk it across it, and uh, uh, as soon as they said no, you got to put your you can't even take your cell phone with you. You got to put it in a little locker. And I was like, I'm done. Between that and the masks that people have been making us wear, the one rest stop wanted us to take our temperature. Yeah, we're like, so over it. So who do you think you are, China? We you got out, looked around. With Grand Canyon, took a picture of you, me, the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Because we want, because I, I know I wanted to have a mirror picture of the thing that we, because we were there in '93. '93, and I wanted to have a side by side picture. Right. This is us. This, this was twenty eight years later. Is, yeah. Seeing the Grand Canyon once you've done it, every time you go back and do it, it's the same. And for us, it was more to say, "Oh, we did it," mm-hmm. than to that we spent a lot of time examining ourselves and the futility of yeah it's, it's one and, thing to sit know. there the first time and go, "Wow, look at look at what time has done. Look at yeah. what you know." What, and at our age, it's like, we're old. We're like, I know what I did in my life. Yeah, I could probably make this a hell of a lot deeper with about, you know, 2 million pounds of TNT. Big hole in the ground. I'm good. Yeah. It, 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 you know, it would take humans 20 years to do this. It yeah. took the earth 100 million. <laughs> the earth. <laughs> Need more TNT, mother <laughs> yeah. That would make it easier for you. Maybe an earthquake yeah. or two. Earthquakes are amazing. Yeah, and that's not to say we don't appreciate what you know. The natural beauty of the Grand does, Canyon is yeah. amazing, and it's and it is a, it is a it is a fantastic testament to nature and the amazing the amazingness of nature. Blah 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 blah. Hole in the ground, and so we'd seen it. Yeah, it, it, it had been one of those things. You know, been there, and done that kind yeah. of a thing. Yeah. Uh, that's not to say that when we were running for the first time, you know, this is this this was like my third or fourth time to see it. I saw it as a kid. Yeah, and I've been flying over it for years now. Yeah. So, yeah. so it was like you know the the the, the, the glamour had worn off. So we were we were done. Yeah. Uh, and then we headed off to Boulder City. Yeah. As we were getting into town, I'm like, I don't know. And then you just had me like, okay, turn right here. Just I don't know where. And then we saw a hearse. A hearse. <laughs> With a green top and stuff on it. And a casket and on the top. A casket on top and Lily Munster on the hood. And I'm like, not actually Lily Munster because that would have been hot. <laughs> but a picture of Lily Munster on the hood and I'm like, where are we? <laughs> we went to the Monster Museum the Monster in Museum. Boulder City. Oh, it was so cool. Just went through, you know, we, we step up and they had like a, like a, well, you can, you know, you can go to the regular thing, but for an extra five bucks or whatever, we've got the little, the little movie thing. I was like, give me everything. Whatever, whatever it is. Whatever it is. You know, but you want to know what it is? I don't care. I don't care. Just tell me what it is. We're batting a thousand. Let's yeah. do this. So in the, the open thing was the Freddy Krueger exhibit. It had actual props. Actual props from, from the, the movie. The Signed stuff yeah. by Robert England and I can't remember the director's name now, but all Wes this, Craven. There you go. Wes Craven. Um, all this stuff. And like three or four of the claws and different sets of the claws. The sweaters and prosthetics. Prosthetics that he was wearing, the burn one and the not. And it's all the stuff from the Freddy one or from Nightmare on Elm Street 1 and 2 and 3 and all the different shows. Now, once again, not a place I would have typically gone. Because it's not my thing. It's movies. Eh. But it was so cool. They had the uh, the, the actual prop from uh, Gremlins 2. The, the spider? The spider. The spider gremlin. I never, I hadn't even seen that movie. But I'm like, the hell is this thing? You know, I, lo- I well, of course, and Halloween was, it was October. So, of mm-hmm. course, Halloween. We all know how I feel about Halloween. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, <gasps> you know, and we walked through the thing, uh, the, the the Freddy Krueger part, and then we opened the door and came out to the next part, and it was all... And it was heaven. It was every... Oh, the, 
infamous movies from Evil Dead to Ghoulies to They Live. They Live and Nosferatu and the old Phantom the of the old Opera. Werewolf and yeah, Werewolf. All of the, all Exorcist. All these displays that were just phenomenal. And it was, was a, so fun. And it was like a little like temporary looking building thing. Yeah. It looked it looked like someone took um a a, a a super wide mobile home and made it into a permanent structure and just kind of painted it weird. Mm -hmm. But you walk in the door and there's all this cool stuff. Right outside is the Captain America zombie. Yeah. yeah. Zombie Captain America, which we took pictures with. Mm -hmm. Even the bathroom. The bathroom had a casket lid to open the door. <laughs> the toilet. You know, so you, you have to walk over to the casket lid and open the casket lid. That's where the bathroom <laughs> is. And I just remember just walking through there. I mean, Chucky from Child's Play and Beetlejuice, one of my favorite movies, Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Herman Munster was in there. Uh, oh, and then at the gift shop, I got the Outlook, the, Outlook, the Overlook Hotel key. I, have, I got several. I took several of those because I was giving them away as gifts. Uh, my, no, my, you know my sister's a huge. Mm -hmm. You know, you know my sister. You know she's yeah. a she's a goofy horror fan. I was taking pictures and sending them to her. I'd be like, click send, click send, click send. I was doing that with Ryan and Matt. I was yeah. sending the pictures and they were guessing what movie it was. Oh, know. my sister knew them all. <gasps> oh, that's this. Oh, that's Nosferatu. <laughs> oh, that's they. Oh, that's this. Oh, that she's like, where are you? <laughs> I got one in big letters. Where are you? Exclamation point. Question mark. Exclamation. And I told her, she's like, I hate you so much right now, you know. Well, I got her uh, an overlook, overlook key. I got her some other stuff. I got some, I got some Vincent Price coffee, which is really good. Well, that 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 leads us to getting into Vegas that night. We did. And, we went the night. Know, we stayed at the the one hotel the one night, and the, I got to say the the you know again you know I, at that point you would you would uh, uh, christened me the, the 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 finder of the food. Yeah. I was to find the food from. I night. got the hotels. You got the food. That was what I drove, bought the gas. You bought the. Uh, you got. You you found us the food. Yeah, I got the attractions and the food, and I was like, well, there's a there's a German restaurant right across. And I, I got get, I kind of got the feeling like you were kind of like mm. German restaurant. Well, because I lived in Germany. Yeah. So I'm 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 real. Yeah. German food. So we got there. And first thing I get is the Tower of Sausage, which we had no idea what that actually meant. Yeah, it was like three tiers. Of like five, ten sausages each, each you know, layer. Well, and that it was it would have been if it had been just the sausages, it would have been one thing. Yeah, but then we get like the, the potato, stuff potato, and potato the, salad, yeah. and the other stuff, and the col and the the sauerkraut. And, and I knew that I made the right choice when the dude brings out the big Ricola <laughs> and started playing Star Wars on it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <clears throat> yeah, it brings out the big Alpen horns, what they call those things. <laughs> and we're like, oh, this is just, this just keeps getting better. <laughs> uh, so that brought us to, you know, we checked into Lux Luxor the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's when we went to go see the Blue Man group because yes. Denise wasn't coming in until Tuesday. Or Tuesday or Wednesday, yeah, yeah for a couple and we, of days. And, and I knew she didn't, because I even checked with her. I said, You're, you said you didn't like the Blue Man, right? No. Okay, that's when we're going to the Blue Man. <laughs> Uh, had that one, and that's when my name popped up on the scroll. Thing. Right, and I was like, "What did you do, <laughs> you idiot? What have you done?" <laughs> <laughs> and there's something about you know, I was a, a mutton busting champion. Of, yeah, mutton busting you know, champion. I rode a sheep for eight seconds. Or something. In, in, in like you know, Winosha, Wisconsin <laughs> Fair in 1982 or something. And there I am going. Thank God it didn't stand up because they were like, "Well, Brett Mauser, <laughs> please stand, stand up." Well, oh, Brett William Mauser, Brett Billy, it was your whole name. Yeah, and I was like, oh. Oh, God. God, what the hell? And I didn't stand up. And I was like, you know, and then they say, and then I saw sheep, and I was like, okay, well, I guess it is somebody else. Like, if there is another, but it's like, that's when I looked at, did that, was that, did I just imagine that or my name? And you were like, no, I was Brett <laughs> William Mouser. Mouser. That was you. So, I was like, oh, okay. And then they had a couple other things and like the, yeah, another just, just weird stuff. And stuff. So then that was David Copperfield that night, you know, on Tuesday night. And that's when we had the steak. Uh, that we went to the yeah. steakhouse. Oh, what a fantastic meal that was! And yeah, it was. I mean, it was pretty pricey, but you know, well, well worth it. Okay, so uh, there's a place I always go in Orlando called Charlie Steakhouse. And this last time I went, I went with my buddy Steve and his son, and I think we spent like 500 bucks on dinner. Hmm. But completely, big old steak and the, the the sides and the drinks, everything else like that. And I and I remember, um, because like. <laughs> Like we talked about, uh, I've talked about in the past. There was a time I was eating crackers for lunch. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not doing that anymore. I make plenty of money now, 
And one of the things I was telling, because he was like, I cannot believe you, because I bought dinner. He's like, I can't believe you spent all the money. And I was like, look, there you have to, every now and again, just spend an exorbitant amount of money on a fantastic meal, okay? Because we can. Now, when I couldn't, when I wasn't making any money, I didn't do that, okay? I'm doing fine now. We're doing fine. And so it's one of those things where you could spend a ridiculous amount of money on dinner because it's, you're in Las Vegas. How often do you do this? I don't spend that much money on dinner every day or every week or even every, every, every month, okay? But February in Orlando, October in Las Vegas, we're going to go to one of the best, the best steakhouses in Nevada. And I'm going to spend 100 bucks on dinner or 80 bucks, whatever the hell it was. Mm-hmm. Completely worth it. Completely worth it. And we had a great time. The Yankees sitting next to us were annoying. Yeah. They yeah. knew of everything about everything. They knew everything about everything with their Yankee sensibilities and the way they... And, and, and for those of you who are from the Northeast, I, I'm very sorry. Um, it's the kind of a joke that we here in Texas have that the the the, the beer the mere your in, use of the English language is an offensive mm-hmm. to our ears. Mm-hmm. I apologize. Just stop talking around us. We don't like it. Anyway, but we had dinner. The waitress was on mm. the ball. Mm-hmm. I mean, I she was like one of those tea ninjas. You know the ones where you 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 finish half of your tea and then you go to you go to get that and then all of a sudden it's fill, it's filled up again. She was a tea ninja. Mm-hmm. She just she would like beam in from the mothership and <laughs> and then she'd be gone again. You know. She would, like, would repel in and like throw. I mean, she was just amazing. So the next day was because uh, Denise got in that night. Late and that then night. Yeah. Wednesday was going to be the Omega Wart. Yeah. And we didn't. I I specifically told you not to look into and it. I didn't into what it was. And I didn't expect it to be quite like that. Yeah. It was. It was really cool. It was an adventure. It was. It, it was like a. a it's like an escape room. An elaborate sca- escape room. But without escaping, it wasn't yes. a, there wasn't the pro, there wasn't a, yeah. you didn't escape. You had to figure out a mystery solve problems, and and it was really unique. And it, they had some of the funniest stuff on the shelves. And this was this was this was something I really am, am glad we did. It yeah. was it was fun. It was fun. Uh, I just I described that as being the purpose of our visit to Las Vegas was Omega Mart. Yeah, that was what we talked about the yeah, most. because I because they had just come out like last year or something, and and I wanted to do it before. It got spoiled for me before I heard about it, before it disappeared, whatever. Yeah. So I was like, I really think we need to see Omega Mart. Yeah. Uh, and then just the commercials, the crazy commercials they have. Oh, well, that's what you showed YouTube. me. You yeah. showed me the commercials. Yeah. You're like, before the trip, it was like a week before the trip. You're like, okay, I got to show you this, but you can't look up anything else. I'm like, okay. As you pull the, and you start showing these, <laughs> you start showing these commercials, and I'm like, the hell? <laughs> Whoop. The lemons were the best. Yeah, that's. I think that's my favorite so far. The lemons, and I'm like, <laughs> what? You know. And so yeah, when that happened, and you said you can't look at, I was, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna look. I swear, I swear to God, I'm not gonna look up a thing. Okay, and I didn't, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I mean to tell you, I like sat down and I made a little so- a solemn promise to myself. I'm not going to look up anything on Omega Mark because Brett asked me to, <laughs> and he seems very serious about this. <laughs> and I don't want to trifle with that. I don't want to trifle with his mojo. Okay, <laughs> he's really on point with this. We're just going to go with what he says. Got it. Not going to look it up. Not going to do a thing. I'm your man. You know. Well, and and that wasn't the only thing that was in that in Area 15, which yeah. is the big thing. So, n- n- having been there now, if I were to go back again, I would I would reserve a whole day for it. Yes. Because there were other museums and other art things and other exhibits that I would like to have gone to. I totally we had to get to the sushi. I mean, a lot of... A lot I have of, to say my favorite is the sushi lasagna. That's good stuff. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, well, because a lot of times you go to a lot of these... You know, and the shrimp. Uh, the shrimp tempura was pretty... I mean, the basics... You did get a lot of there. shrimp tempura. Yeah. Just, the, cause just were, going back to the basics, the shrimp tempura was... Because you know, we went two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, I guess it was, and we didn't expect it to be... We were just happened to be in that part of town. Mm-hmm. And we didn't expect it to be as good as it was. And it was really good. And so, yeah, we, we were like, we have to go back. Yeah. Sushi coma. Was it, I was about to say, was it a sushi, sushi headache sushi. or something? <laughs> sushi. <laughs> Sushi coma, very fitting name. Yeah. Of all <coughs> the times I've been to Vegas, I've never seen an Elvis impersonator. What the hell's wrong with you, Brian? Until this time. 
and he was good. Yeah, this was this was uh, that was a fun one. Yeah, I was in it. It was amazing. I remember there was a little, you know, and, and he was throwing. He threw scarves. Yeah, you know, there's like a woman in the back row, or like three or four rows back, and he was he was trying to get it to her specifically. And the wo- the, the the the, I will use your word, the, the <laughs> next to us, <laughs> takes it. Yeah, and he's like, well, that's he, he's trying, you know, and then you know the whole like whole theater is like, no, he was sending it to her, and she's. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. And even Elvis was like, "Really?" really? <laughs> so he left, and he he went backstage. So the band's like, yeah. and, he and he went down there and, and got the and and you know, to the girl that he was at, gave her a hug, and gave her the you know, yeah. the, the, the little uh, heart handkerchief, yeah, handkerchief thing back up. <clears throat> and I just looked. I was like, "Really, you little you twat!" <sighs> and we went to the Churascari, Pampas, Pampas, yeah, yeah, the, the Brazilian, Brazilian Steakhouse. House. And decided to gorge ourselves on food. Uh, and while two tables over, there was a uh, medical emergency <laughs> where one woman passed out or got drunk or had something. a heart attack or something. The EMS had, EMS had to come. Then her friend had a drop, you know, tried to almost drop dead. And then they wheeled them off. And, oh, it was just so dramatic. <laughs> it was like, really? And I couldn't see anything. Come. I'm just hearing it. And I'm, I'm watching everybody else. See what's going on behind me. I just hear clang, <laughs> and you're just like. <laughs> and I remember this, this, this was Denise looks over. She's like, <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Did they kill somebody else? And Brett's like, oh, her friend just wasn't getting enough attention, so she had to fall over. I'm like, Who are these people? <laughs> So then Friday morning, we yeah. headed out. Yeah. And that was... Once again, we, raining. Yeah. And that's <laughs> when we took the, the other road. We went down to 10. Yeah. So that we could stop in Tombstone. Right. And here we are at the actual OK Corral gunfight location. This is where it actually all happened. Yeah. Now, you're not too, too familiar with this. I, you know, I, you have, I'm a friend of yours, so I've seen... Because I've seen the movies. Um, but... Uh, you have educated me quite a bit as to what was, what was going on. Well, this is uh, the location of Fourth and Fremont, mm. and you'll you'll actually hear the Fourth and Fremont in some of my films. Whenever I'm looking, whenever there's a showdown, or I'm, I'm looking for a an address to come up with, someone has to give somebody an address. I'll usually use Fourth, Fourth and Fremont. And Fremont. It's, a, it's appeared in a couple times in Innocent Saga and a couple other places. It's on the corner of Fourth and Fremont. As we left Tombstone, there was one more place that we had to hit. I had been wanting to go to this place for years and years and years. Right. And we finally stopped at The The Thing. thing. (laughs) I have my t-shirt of The Thing. I'm wearing mine. You're wearing yours? Yeah. I thought about wearing it, but I, I just... I'd never heard of The Thing. I'd never heard of it. But yes, if you've ever traveled down I-10, either direction, uh, through Arizona, you will see for miles and miles and miles built in rooms. Talking about The Thing. Well, here's The Thing. I never heard of The Thing. I didn't, I didn't know anything about The Thing. The Thing was not something that was on my radar. Mm-hmm. You were telling me about The Thing. And the more you told me, the more I wanted to see it. Okay. And once again, and I hadn't seen it. So I was just telling you about the experience of me wanting to go see it. And I was like, I want to go see this thing now too. Yeah. What is the thing? And you're like, I have no idea. It's like me either, but I have to see it now, you know? Yeah. Cause it was a case of me just, you know, okay, we're going to go see it this year. And we drive through, Oh, it's Christmas. They're closed. Oh, or, or, or we got through, Oh, you know, Oh, it's at six o'clock. Oh, they closed it. They closed at five. Damn it. Damn it. And then the other times it was just like, you know, it was driving through at two in the morning. Well, I'm not going to get to see this, you know, or 11 o'clock. And, and it just never matched up. It looks like just a regular rest stop yeah. that you're in. Yeah. And then there's a little, you know, off to one side, you got the ticket booth and a little dude taking your tickets and everything. Yeah. And we paid our tickets. Uh, and you got like a dollar off of, you yeah, know, veteran. military thing. Yeah. And we turned the corner and you were sold. I was done. <laughs> I was like, this thing could have been 10 bucks. Or twenty bucks, and it's totally worth every bit, every penny I paid. First thing we see is an alien. Somehow a theme throughout this whole trip: an alien riding a velociraptor. <laughs> it's looking at me. I'm not. He is. He is. He is staring at us, isn't he? This is the greatest rest stop in the history of rest stop. I mean, Bucky's, you got it as far as a chain goes, but this—it's <laughs> an alien. 
riding a velociraptor and he's carrying a blaster rifle. I'm like, and we, <laughs> what is about to happen now? <laughs> and we proceeded to get an education on this. Possibly accurate alternate history of the world. Uh, what if history of the world that I have completely endorsed and I'm fully okay with going along with? And they, this was so well planned, so well thought out. The brain devices on how they controlled the dinosaurs, the Civil War, how the dinosaurs rebelled. I love how the, like, the, the Tyrannosaurus didn't take to the thing. Didn't take to the thing. <laughs> and the murals and the explanations and the, 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 the displays and the dioramas. I, I actually took my dollar. I gave him my dollar back. Mm -hmm. This is the dollar that I, the, the, for the veteran, you can have it back, buddy. <laughs> absolute blast so anytime i'm going through arizona with somebody new i've got to stop there now because it's, it's you're just... going with somebody old i want to go <laughs> see it again <laughs> after that i think we just drove all the way straight through to san antonio right yeah yeah we drove all the way home. we might have stopped for dinner or something we stopped for dinner in Van horn where we, oh, we stayed the, 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 oh yeah the you know, cowboy country club place the, yeah, <laughs> where they had they had you know old bob beaver who used to be backup singer for George Strait or something. George Strait or some for damn one, thing. Yeah, you know, like a, a year or something, he was backup. He was a backup singer, and now he's singing at the Cattleman's Cattleman Steakhouse in Van Horn, <laughs> Texas. And put your hands together. Say, everybody say hey. <laughs> You're like, no. I'm like, no. I'm trying to eat my steak, Bill. Quit screaming at me. <laughs> Everything we did, everywhere we went, and every thing we spent uh, all the time we spent doing what we were doing even just driving mm -hmm. talking about little stuff that we needed to do and talking about projects and talking about things we got work done a little bit but for the most part we we're just goofing off as we drove through the southwest mm -hmm. so we definitely recommend taking your own road trip maybe you know plan it out or you know even if you just got to go a couple hundred you know, uh, you know a couple hours out of the way yeah you know, to do something go explore go find something to do go find something to do that you haven't done before and go and do it, as long as it's legal.